today's video is going to be a haul. I have lots of clothes to share with you guys, as well as some accessories and a few makeup bits, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with she inside stuff, and the first thing I have here is this dress, and it's absolutely adorable. It's this really cute smock dress with foxes all over it, and you guys probably saw this on ASOS. They had a green one. Um, but she inside has a few colors. I think they have three colors. It's really loose and flowy and has three-quarter like sleeves and It's really thick as well. So it's just adorable. My favorite animal is foxes and rhinos <laughs> Next I have this tank top and it's just a plain white chiffon top But it has this really cool oversized collar and I just really like the contrast of it It's very basic. It's gonna go with everything and it has a zipper all along the back as well I have another dress, and this one is a leopard print shift dress. It's absolutely adorable. It's really thick. I love the material. And the cool thing about this one is that it has pockets, which is always exciting. It's just so perfect. I absolutely adore this thing. All right, so moving on to Urban Outfitters, I only have a couple of things, but the first is this white t-shirt. Oddly enough, I don't have one in my closet already, and I've just been trying to incorporate more basic pieces into my wardrobe because they're easy to build off, so... I decided I needed a white t-shirt and I ended up getting this one. I ordered it, it was on sale, um, I think it was like 15 bucks. The only thing is that I'm absolutely terrified of owning this because I'm afraid it's going to get dirty and I don't know if you can tell but I already have lipstick on it, so bad. So I'm not entirely sure how long this one will last me but I have this one for now. And the next thing from Urban is this straw Panama hat. I got this when I was in New York. I always seem to buy a hat when I go there, I don't know what's up with that. But it's really cute. It was on sale. I think it was, I don't know, I think it ended up being like $13 or something like that. It's really cute. I like it. So I was wearing this around New York. Alright, so next I have this dyed button-up from Madewell. It's so comfortable and cute. It just it just goes with everything. And I got it on sale. It was only like 17 bucks. So I've just been wearing this a bunch. I have a couple of things from H&M. The first is this speckled gray t-shirt. Like I said, I'm trying to go back to basics. And this ended up being on sale for only $5, which was really good. A few of you have already seen these, but I picked up these overalls as well. Um, I went to the mall after work. I was just browsing around H&M and I saw these overalls. And I thought they were cute, but I didn't know what to do with them. So I posted a picture on Twitter asking you guys what I should do, and everyone just really loved them. So I ended up going back to the mall and picking them up straight away. So thank you guys for your opinion. It was very helpful. Um, but yeah, they're just washed black denim overalls. They're really cute. I haven't worn them yet, still trying to figure them out. But um, when I do, I think they'll be really great for summertime. I just think they're really cute. They're fun. I ran into Forever 21 really quick and came out with a t-shirt. And it is just a plain white tee with navy stripes all over it. Thought it was cute. Very basic. Um, yeah. Alright, so I have another t-shirt. And this one is from Brandy Melville. Uh, we were in New York going shopping in Soho. And we popped in there really quick. And... I ended up getting this guy. I love it because it's so incredibly soft. And I think this was like 18 bucks. Um, so not too bad, but it's in this really nice maroon shade, and it's cropped as well. Alright, so moving on to accessories, I ordered a few things from Topshop through Nordstrom. And the first are these white sandals. I've been looking for a pair of chunky white sandals that actually fit, because I have really narrow feet, so... Finding shoes that fit around my foot is so, it's like impossible. They were actually reasonably priced, which I was happy about, and they're really cute. They're going to be perfect for summer. And the next thing from Topshop is this necklace, and it just has gold shells all around it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I want to wear it with everything. I am in love. I love this thing. I ended up picking out a few pieces from Shop Dixie's new collection. The first is this gorgeous choker. I absolutely love it. I've been wearing this a bunch as well. And in the promo photos, the model was wearing this one. Um, with a whole bunch of other necklaces layered, um, but this was another one that she had on with it. And I just thought it was so gorgeous, so I got this one as well. It's just a moon with a little stone at the end of it. These are both really, really pretty. And I picked out a couple of rings too. Um, the first is this cute little moon ring, and I also have this 
really pretty one with this blue green stone in the middle. I think it's called like unicorn tears ring. What's cool about them is that the unicorn tears one fits right in the middle of the moon so you can wear them together as one. So the thunder in our hearts collection is the spring and summer collection which these are from and they have a ton of other things so I've just really been loving my shop Dixie pieces. The last accessory kind of thing that I have is this holographic tote bag. I got this from Choice and it is so cool. I think it's going to be perfect for summertime. It's so spacious inside. There are no pockets or anything, but it'll be nice to just tote things around in over the summer. Okay, so last but not least, I have a few makeup things to share with you guys. The first is this adorable little makeup bag. Um, Sephora was doing a 15% off for VIBs, and this was one of the things you got with your purchase. So it's just this cute nautical makeup bag. It's really adorable. Um, so I ended up picking up a new foundation and it is the YSL Touche Eclat and this one is the illuminating foundation. So it's a pretty light foundation but it still covers up any redness on my face which is really nice and it just gives such a natural finish. It doesn't look cakey at all. It's very light on the skin. It makes my skin look really nice and dewy. So I have really been liking this surprisingly enough. I was kind of iffy about it because it was so expensive but I actually really do like it so far. And the next thing I got was this Estee Lauder Pure Color Lip Gloss in Vinyl Rose. And these are amazing because they're super thick and really pigmented. So I know I've talked about this before, but I really like thick lip glosses because I have dry lips. So this just totally makes up for that. And this lasts forever as well. And it's really pigmented too, which is really cool. This one just gives a subtle sheen. It kind of just makes your lips look fuller. So I really like this. It's just a everyday neutral color. And lastly, I have these Mirabella Color Vinyl Lipsticks. I have this one, which is Coral Flash, just a really nice bright orange. And the next one is Scarlet Sparkle. And this one is just a deep shade, um, more on the plummy side. And these are really pigmented and they don't tend to dry out my lips, which I'm really happy about. And I'm really excited about the coral one because that one's going to be perfect for summertime. So. I got these two. Alright guys, so that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a lot of stuff, so I was trying to make it quick, but these are all the bits that I picked up recently, and I'm going to have a spring outfits video up um, soon after this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!